What's up, GI babies? It's your girl Tamar GI, and we're back with another video. So, today we're working with her muscle hair, and I'm just showing you guys all that came inside the package and what the unit looks like. Now, today we're going to be doing something a little different. I wanted to try something different, so I wanted to try adding locks to this curly unit, and I felt like it was going to be so cute. So, this is the hair that I used, and I also wanted them to have like a distressed feel to it. So, I did also use the pre-fluff hair to give it that distressed look. Now, when you're adding them into the unit, I just section off two tracks and then I sewed them in. So you can just see me just sectioning off everything how I want it to look because you don't want the locks to overpower the wig. The locks are gonna be kind of like accents. So you guys see how the final look looks right here. So what I'm doing is just sewing the locks into the tracks and making sure they are secure before going to the next section. Now I do part two tracks in between each row that I do and I typically added like four to five locks on each row but it is depending on you and what you how you want your final look to come out if you want more locks you can add more locks and if you want just enough then you can do the amount that I did And to make this process easier for each row, I went ahead and add the locks first, sewed them in, and then I went in and took the pre-fluffed hair and wrapped it around and went to the next section. I got too many hoes. But they hang you. Like to put that shit in your nose. But I still love you. Doing shit that nobody knows. In the streets, they be thinking you're a lady for that home. If you ain't nasty, don't at me. I've been working all day. I like to run the streets in this dark out and come home, put your back out. I hope that's okay. I can't leave you alone. No more. and as you can see these are how the locks look intertwined in the unit and i went ahead and finished everything else because you kind of get it it's like self-explanatory for adding locks and it's very easy so now we're getting into this install and for the glue that i used today i used the bomb baby glue and i really started to really like this glue a lot now my number one glue is the erica j glue but i feel like the bomb baby glue is definitely a runner up because I went to the waterfall in this unit and I got my hair wet. I fell like I was really drenched in water and my wig did not go anywhere. It didn't slip. It didn't lift. It didn't do anything. So I definitely re recommend this glue and I will have it linked down below. so while my lace is melting i do like to cut off that excess lace in front of my face just so it won't be all in front of my face and make my forehead itch and stuff like i just do that but you guys can see how the locks look i really love 
how they came out and I really love like how much I put in my hair I feel like it was just enough now right here it might look like the hair is overpowering a lot but that's only because the hair isn't wet so I'm just spraying my leave-in conditioner by silk elements in the hair and then I did follow up with some water as well but I like putting leave-in conditioner in there because it still it keeps the softness of the hair and it makes the curls look very juicy and very hydrated so now i'm cutting off that lace and you want to make sure that you do not cut off like the hair because this unit did come with like pre-separated baby hairs like they're like the natural baby hairs so i am kind of like cutting behind it and i did have to cut some off because it was a lot and i did go ahead and pluck them as well so they can be like thin enough to where it still looks like really cute and really natural and it doesn't look like too much So now I'm going in with my pencil straightener and just curling these baby hairs because I wanted this look to be very dramatic, especially because we have curly hair. We have the locks going in the curls as well. So I wanted the baby hairs to be like super dramatic and super fluffy and really cute. So my baby hairs weren't even done yet and I was loving the way this came out already and I decided I wanted to add like some jewels in the hair like add some jewels on the locks so I did go ahead and do that as well the jewels that I did add you can find them at the beauty spot store or you can find them on Amazon you can just type in like hair jewelry and it'll pop up but I just added a few in there just some stuff that I had laying around the house but like I said before, the baby hairs aren't even done yet. And I was just loving it. Like, it just looked really, really, really cute. 
And like I said before, I added the jewels in and I didn't do too much. It's just like little accents that I put in the hair. And I felt like it just came out really, really, really cute. And for the baby hairs, I didn't want to do too much. I still wanted to keep like the fluffiness and stuff of the baby hairs because it still looks really, really cute when they're not even done. So I just took some got to be glued spray on the edge toothbrush and just started perfecting the edges. Now this is basically the end of the hairstyle. So if you guys want all the information on this unit and Hermosa hair, make sure you guys click that link down below and everything involving Hermosa hair will be in the link and the exact link for this wig will be listed down below as well. If you guys enjoyed this hairstyle and you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give your girl a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be back with more videos soon. Stay blessed. GI Babies, we out. Back out, I hope that's okay I can't leave you alone, no